Shalom, we praise the Yahweh, Bashem Yahshai, Bashem Al Rakar Kadash, double honors unto your apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well, and Shalom to the awful elect. Um, this video is dealing with um, the death of the basketball player known as Kobe Bryant. You know, um, arguably one of the greatest um, players to play the game, as they say. Um, he passed away um, yesterday on the 26th, I believe, of January, yeah, 2020. And um, that's my point. This is it's January. You know how Nate said, it's June, it's January, all right? And already major prophecies are on and popping, man. World War Three. okay? We had, um, you know... And I wouldn't necessarily say World War Three as per se, but the wars and rumors of wars are basically happening, which Yahweh Shai outlined to be a mark for the 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 to determine his coming. All right, he's, he's, th those are the things to determine his cousin coming. And also, what what's the other thing? The pestilence. <laughs> right now, we're in the midst of a pandemic. All right, because due to the incubation period of um i believe two weeks you can have people walking around as carriers of of the of the virus and passing it on unknown unbeknownst to them before they even get you know um any forms any form of um what's the word um oh, there's a word man any form of um not diagnosis symptoms that's it any form of symptoms all right so basically you now entering Kobe Bryant as well, which is the big shock. All right, and let's not forget we got Brexit going on at the end of this month as well, on the thirty first, I believe. So this is already an eventful start to a new year, eventful start to a new month, eventful start to a new decade, all right. The most high power, Yahweh Basham Yah Shah Basham Al Rakar Kadash is setting the president making it known that look he ain't playing man it's the year of prophecy it's been declared by uh apostle tar all right on down it's the year of prophecy and we're seeing prophecy just running all right because this is another prophecy the stars falling from heaven all right this guy kobe bryant bad boy baller man i used to watch him a lot but guess what that's all he was a, a baller and um, he prepared through his um, platform that the Mosai, his lot that the Mosai gave him, he's actually, you could see, he basically birthed a lot of um, that quote unquote member, member mentality, which ultimately is, is, is like what Bruce Lee was kind of doing, where it's like, what's that word I'm looking for, man? It's um, self. I want to say self glorification, but self, um, what's that word? It's like deifying yourself, you know, making yourself like God, saying that, I, you know, I'm the one that's capable of doing these things. And even Aaron Hernandez and his father, which he inherited from his father, had that complex, um, um, I forgot the phrase. Um, let me quickly check. Um, That's it. And it's this quote that he inherited from his father. I had to get it, man. Um, so, so lucky. If it is to be, it is up to me. And that's the same monarch um, mantra that all of these athletes carry. Bruce Lee, all right, Aaron Hernandez, and Kobe Bryant. That's that's the 
ideal that they're, they're running behind. If it is to be, it's up to me, all right? Now, dealing with Kobe Bryant, all right, dealing with Kobe Bryant, he had the, he basically sold his soul for what basketball, man. He 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 weren't thinking about yo, how am I gonna yo, what's what's my people going through this this madness that they're going through. No, he dedicated his life to basketball game. Right? He basically and in and in turn in dedication of himself to a game, he actually dedicated himself to this world. Right? Because he is in fact indeed a, a a major staple in this world. And how we know that? Because you got this, this is news on the BBC News in the UK, all right, even though it says US and Canada. But I was, I, I was on public transport, and you had people that are so far removed from basketball that were intrigued to see who this guy is, all right? And that's because he's transcended uh, the world of basketball into the ultimate world of worlds, okay? The world over. And. That's because why he's of the world, okay. If if he wasn't of the world, they would have no care for him. But this is a big deal, and it and it helps also that also his daughter, who was following in his own footsteps as well, is got is was was taken away as well. Because I just watched a clip a few hours ago where he said so someone came up to him and said, "Look, yo, you Kobe man. It's unfortunate you ain't got no guy to carry, no boys to carry. You need to have a boy, man. You ain't got no one to carry the, your legacy." And his daughter came in and said, "Like, yo, like, point, point you know, pointing that chest and said, I got this." So she had that same mamba mentality, and a good another video that really shows you his his whole mentality is as well the advert with him and Kanye West. Where Kanye West says, Kobe, I've given all I got. How much more should I give? And he's like, more. And it shows you, and if any, if you know anything about Kanye West, that's one ignorant or arrogant individual. And it's showing you that Kobe was 10 times more arrogant than him. So based upon that alone, you know this man was fully ingrained in his world. Even though you might say, well, he's only playing basketball. No, but he was ingrained in his world, man. He was forwarding, what, the ideal of people balling out, trying to attain um, status within the league to try and be the greatest at playing ball. When the Most High didn't put you on this earth to be no greatest at playing basketball, all right? The Most High put you on this earth to serve him, all right? And that's what I'm going to start with. I'm going to start with Ecclesiastes 12. And um, 13, and it reads, Let's hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Right? So that's the duty of man. And more so than anything, that's the duty of an Israelite man. All right? This is Deuteronomy 29, 29. And it reads, The secret things belong unto the Lord, our power, but those things which are revealed belong unto us. How are they revealed? By the servants of prophets. Amos 3 and 7 tells you that. So the prophets reveal these secrets and keep, and that's why it tells you during the time of um, Saul that the, the word of the Lord was, was basically um, few and far between, basically. The not It wasn't really coming out like that because why are the prophets, basically when they're raised, they give give um, guidance onto the people right, for what they should do the secret things belong unto us unto the Lord our power so everything what's the secret things it's knowledge wisdom and understanding everything the understanding of all things belongs unto the most high power and in the book of um, Sirach it tells you or oh, wisdom of Solomon I can't remember right now off the top of my dome but basically it says that he found out all the ways of wisdom and gave it unto Israel, his servant. Because basically, we've 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 been birthed with it. We've been gifted it, sorry. But those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of his law. That's what we're meant to do, okay? That is our duty, all right? And you had Colby teaching his daughter that, yeah, you need to be doing this, you need to be doing that. Nah, that that weren't what you were meant to be doing, Kobe. You know, all right. Uh, what's the Lord about? What is this? What is this? 
that's it. Okay. Okay, so this is Deuteronomy 6 and 1. Now, these are the commandments, the statutes and the judgments which the Lord your power commanded to teach you that ye may ye might do them in the land whether ye go to possess it, that thou mightest fear the Lord thy power to keep all his statutes and his commandments which I command thee, thou and thy son and thy son's sons all the days. Nope, that's not the one. It's lucky. It's four um, and five. Um, Deuteronomy 4 and 5 Behold I have taught you statutes and judgments Even as the Lord my power commanded me That you should do so in the land Wherever you go to possess it Keep therefore and do them For this is your wisdom and your understanding In the sight of the nations Not bouncing a ball and putting it through a, ho a hoop Alright And it's quite it's befitting as well That he actually died because that was the main thing That kind of Um that was like the one thing I was in the process of doing, playing pro. I was going to play semi-pro. Had a plan all mapped out basically to, to go pro all right, overseas in Europe and, and work my way up the ladder through there basically. And I, I, I was my hope was to one day play in the NBA. All right? But then when I found out this truth, the one thing I really thought about was am I really going to be is, is am I really on this earth to be running up and uh, to be doing suicides and doing fast breaks from one end of the court to the other to pull this size seven ball through leather ball spalding or molten ball baden ball for a hoop nope I thought this saying this is a far greater calling and in this calling I, I pray to be chosen be one of the elect of Yasha Allah alright but obviously Kobe that when he did he, the he, he, he weren't feeling this, all right. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding of sight of the nations. He thought basketball was his his wisdom, was his glory. We shall hear all these statues and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great who have Yahweh so nigh unto them as the Lord our power is in all things that we call upon him for? And what nation is so great that have statues and judgments so righteous so all this law which I set before you in this day alright um, no it may have been six but it was like mm. yep I'll jump here again So this is Deuteronomy 6 and 7. Um, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children and shalt talk to them while when thou sittest in thine house and when thou walkest by the way and when thou liest down and when thou risest up. So we should be schooling our, 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 our seed, basically our children, in the ways of the Lord. Kobe Bryant weren't doing that. He and his again, his daughter died. If you see the way he was drilling away at her, they were actually on the way for her basketball game. All right, when the Lord took him out in a very horrific fashion, man, it was a gruesome death, a helicopter crash. Do you know you you, you the way a helicopter a heli and he actually they'll um they said they were basically cruising at a low speed like three four miles per hour and then he smashed into a, a mountain face all right now that's a way to go man all right and that's the judgment of the lord the lord don't play okay he sold his soul so let's read a bit of this u.s basketball legend kobe bryant has died in a helicopter crash in california sparking an outpouring of grief from fans around the world bryant 41 and his daughter gianna 13 were among the nine killed when the aircraft came down in Calabasas. There were no survivors from Sunday's crash, which happened in foggy weather. Bryant, a five-time NBA champion, played for the LA Lakers throughout his career. 20, yep, 20 years playing ball. Right? Dedicated himself to that game. Um, and he's considered one of the greatest players in the game's history. Tributes from celebrities, politicians and fellow sports stars have been pouring in, many expressing shock of his sudden death. Moments of silence have been observed at basketball games across the US. And man, you see them, all these different ballers choking up. They're, they're crying. 
jerking. I see Kevin Booker um, pulling back, holding back tears, man. All right, so all these ballers are feeling it in some kind of, they're feeling it in their chest right now. But the Lord, <laughs> this is the beginning of sorrows, man. This is light work, all right? This is a taster, all right? You had Nipsey last year. You got Kobe this year. This really is a taster because more, the, more of them going to keep dying. And it's and it's something to really recognize as well is that in this generation, listen, look, this is this is America. This is the this is the curtain call for for America. Basically, this is, everything's winding down in this kingdom, right? The apostles have already been saying it, right? But it really is winding down. You had really the greatest musicians coming out of sixties, seventies, eighties, and really, I'd say that the, the last. Of raw basically is the 90s and I wouldn't even really say the 90s is really comparable to the 70s and 80s but it, it was at the tail end of everything but since you've crossed we've crossed over into this uh, new millennium they you nothing they can't hold um hold no former star against those of the past basically and guess what? All of the, this has got to be one of, as far as I know, because I'm con contemporary to this time. But the amount of um, superstars, you know, musicians dying in this time period is crazy, man. Michael Jackson, Prince, all right. Um, even in the 90s, you had uh, Biggie and Tupac, Easy E. It's a generation of most of these people. I remember when they died, man. All right, and they've been dying, um, over and over. Different thing, Big L, um, Big Pun, okay, um, all these various artists, they've been basically, you know, getting taken out, okay, and they, they ain't making it, and it's and it's and this is the thing that it's actually getting more crazy, with Prince, with my MJ, and we know the reason why they died with Nipsey Hussle, all right. You know, and some people don't even know Nipsey, but, you know, they obviously, you know, um, utilized his um, death to the, the, pushed it to the heavens, exalted it to the heavens, and then now Kobe. So this is just, this is everything where, and, and the mad thing is, I got a friend I talk to about bull, I used to bull with, that I know from bulling back in the days, okay? Um, a friend of the prophet, so to speak. Um, and he basically was talking and was saying how, and it's funny, another brother in the camp as he said this, but I, I more or less, I didn't feel it when he said it because I was kind of excited about it. But um, I realised now that this season, the, the NBA is dead, man. Ball is, is not is not what it used to be, okay? You got everyone playing the position of Steph Curry and Clay Thompson, basically. Everyone trying to be like um, Steph Curry or everyone's trying to be like Kevin Durant, all right? You gotta shoot the free. Or like Damien, Damien Lillard, um, logo Lillard, shooting from the logo, mid midway. Like, that's crazy, you know? Everything now is losing its, its natural flavor, okay? Anyway, reading on. Bryant was also remembered at the Grammy Awards, which were held so, yeah. um, fans gathered at a makeshift memorial for Bryant in front of the Staples Center where the Lakers play on Sunday, laying flowers and basketballs in memory of the star. <sighs> Bryant was also remembered at the Grammy Awards, which were held in the same venue on Sunday evening. We're all feeling crazy sadness right now, said the Grammy's host, Alicia Keys, because earlier today, Los Angeles, um, Today, Los Angeles, America, and the whole world, whole wide world lost a hero. We are literally standing on. Man, this nigga ain't shit, man. All right, I like Kobe. Don't get twisted. I watched a lot of that guy's <laughs> videos, but that nigga ain't shit. The reason why he ain't shit is because he wasn't exalting the name Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. He ain't no hero, okay? Yahweh Shai is a hero. That's that's a man that that took took on all the great burdens of our nation and was pinned to a cross and suffered all forms of hell, man. Un 
unspeakable forms of that's a hero, alright? If you if you want a real hero, Yahweh Shah's a hero. Right? Not no nigga that's dribbling the ball and shooting a free through a hoop, man. That's 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 nothing of any relevance, relevance, man. Re- relevance, okay. We're literally standing here heartbroken in a house that Kobe Bryant built, all right. And the most I said, really, Esau built that building. He said, "They shall sit up their desolate places. They shall build, and I shall throw down." All right. So really, the mirth of America is coming to a cease. All right. Let me quickly grab this scripture. I'm a bit all over the place, but that's the spirit of this, you know. I'm not. There ain't no. That's the best way to deal with this, boy. So this is Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Ooh. Remember now thy Creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. All right. And as you see, perpetually the evil days are drawing that closer and closer. But the reason why um, the, you can say the even days will come not because really you still got the internet out there. We still can push this word, and even though it's impending, the um, what's it called? The what's this word? The um, what's coming? It's the. Um, Oh, da, da, da. oh, the famine of the hair, another word. Even though it's, it's an incoming thing, we're still it's still here, man. So you you go at, at this moment. So okay, N- nor the years drawing nigh, when thou shalt say I have no pleasure in them, while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. All right. So it's best to seek the Lord while the sun and the light. And the moon and the stars are not darkened, all right? While his wisdom's out there, while there's oil to put into your into your um into your lamp. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow, bow themselves, and the grinders cease because there are few, and those that look out the windows be darkened, and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, all right? There ain't gonna be no more grinding you know what there ain't gonna be no more grinding all right it's gonna be low and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird and all the daughters of music shall be brought low and the daughters of music are being brought low and it's another thing i was reasoning on hey really it's saying there's a lot more money in music but the only reason why there's a lot more money in music is because of the expansion of the markets of music you're seeing now that uk drill that I've never known a time where America, Babylon the Great, has felt, you know, influenced to um, the sound of UK drill music or the sound of Afro beats, okay? These things are now infiltrating into the land, into the Babylon the Great. And the only reason why it's a bit, with a market of, I believe, the population of America is somewhere around 500. Um, million all right let me just check this out so you see uh 300 more like three and a quarter 300 and quarter million people all right you got 300 quarter million people out there okay in the land of america with a market like that you, there's there's plenty of ways to make money from music, all right. But somehow you having these artists from outside of the the U.S. market infiltrating and and allowing, um, and 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 making it as to where that you have artists in America going to these other countries to pursue making more money, which before wasn't really a thing that would need to be done, all right. And that's because why. All the daughters of the music shall be brought low, and that goes hand in hand with this scripture. All right, because Kobe falls into this. All right, it's not the daughters of the music, but he's part of the entertainment, which is hand in hand. It says Matthew twenty nine. 
sorry, 24 and 29. And it reads, Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. All right? Confusion is going to basically be out there. When all this, as we know it, comes to a cease, and all that's going to be left is what? Is going to, all that's going to be left is those that have the the truth, as um, as it tells you, Isaiah thirty three and six, wisdom and knowledge shall be the spirit of thy times, and the strength of thy salvation. That's all that's going to be left, and a star shall fall from heaven. All right, and we had this star is the most recent star to fall from heaven. We entering Kobe Bryant. All right. So, um, Bryant was also remembered at the Grammy Awards. Let me read. Um, the NBA issued a statement saying it was devastated by the tragic passing of Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gianna, or Gigi. All right, well, she's dead, a thirteen-year-old girl, but she's dead. All right, why is that? Because the Most High um, sanctified it. All right. <sighs> First Samuel two and two. There's none holy as the Lord Yahweh. All right, none holy. All right, for there is none beside thee. Neither is there any rock like our power Yahweh. Talk no more so exceedingly proud. Let no arrogancy come out of your mouth, for the Lord is a is a power of knowledge, and from action and from him actions are weighed. All right. Let me jump down to here. Uh, the Lord, verse six. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. So the Lord, and it tells you in Job four and seven, who perish being innocent. Amen. It was their time to go. The Lord set that boundary for their time for when they'll mark for death. And we all got Lord willing. We, you know, we hope that we're going to be delivered. So we're going to basically tr um, be um, translated as was um, um, as was not Seth um, Chawanak, um how could I forget his name, man? Sorry, man. <laughs> My brain is not where it used to be. Alright, Genesis. Genesis, Genesis, Genesis. Seven from Adam. Jude, let me just go Jude. Enoch, that's it. We 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 hope to be translated as Enoch was. All right. So, reading again, verse six: the Lord killeth and maketh alive; he bringeth down to the grave, and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich; he bringeth low and lifteth up. He riseth up the poor out of the dust and lifteth up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes, and that's what we're hoping, we're waiting upon. All right, to be lift up out of our dug, dung hill and to be set up as princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. All right, for the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he hath set the world upon them. He will keep the feet of his saints and the wicked shall be silent in darkness for by strength shall no man prevail. All right, so the Most High is the one to keep the feet of the saints. So if, if your feet aren't kept, then the Most High did it. And that's why uh, Kobe being a saint, right, he's an Israelite, a sanctified one. That's why he perished, man. Because let's not forget that he was actually going into business as well. And he was using his 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 setup, his talent that he was blessed with, his um, mamba mentality, killer instinct. He was applying that into, the, into um, the, the business domain um, and, cut, and building upon his big business acumen. Now, he would have become a real big demon doing that, man. You know, with business being 
making leaps and bounds that it is. The RFID chip, all these different things. Man, he, he, he really got done a favour getting taken out, man. <laughs> but yeah, that's what he's delving into. So this, you know, some people may be looking at him like, oh, Kobe Bryant, he just played, but no. The most side didn't look at it like that. Yeah, he just played basketball, but him just playing basketball, he weren't just, he, that's all he was doing, okay? He weren't serving the Lord, his power. And um, with a surety, this, the, it tells you in Romans, man, have they not heard? But the word, uh, let me read that right now. This nigga, man, as far as, as far as going by the scripture, as, as a good chance, the word hit his eardrums, his earlobes, but it weren't profitable unto him, okay? Because he wanted to be known as the Black Mamba, the greatest of all time, all right? So that's Romans 10. And, um, and 18. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth and their words unto the ends of the world. So this is on the net, man. It's out there, okay? He he heard it, but it's not for him, okay? He didn't, he didn't, he, he didn't show no interest. He went keen, all right. So, um, that's pretty much. Read a bit more, but more or less, I covered all the points I want to cover. The Emirates statement saying it's a dev- it was devastated by the tragic passing of Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gianna. For twenty seasons, Kobe showed us what is possible when remarkable talent blends with an absolute devotion to winning. It said. All right, and really, you know, the talent that you've been bestowed, you're really meant to throw, it, um, bring that onto the Lord, man, because that's the reason why you have it. There have been tributes because he managed to what establish his light upon a table, known as the NBA. But he, if you realize that he never had no kind of political stances in terms of dealing with his people. He wasn't that type of uh, person. His thing was strictly basketball. He just wanted to win, right? So he, he established himself as a superior athlete, but he didn't utilize that for what he really should have used it for, okay? To serve and work really to, you know, for the glory of the name of the Lord. But as it tells you, not many mighty, not many wise are called to this faith. There have been tributes from as far away as the Philippines where a new basketball center named after Brian Ob- opened just hours before his day. Yeah, them Filipinos, man, they play ball. And Italy, where Brian spent part of his childhood as his father played in the Italian basketball league. A minute size would be observed at all basketball games in any, every category for the entire week. The Italian Basketball Federation said, all right, so that's really that information. Hey, stay tuned. More is coming, man. This is just the beginning. All right, this is this is this is you know just the beginning. Okay, great accolades. The nigga scored eighty one points, man, and that kind of shows you what kind of for him to zone into that place. It shows you the kind of dedication he, he put into that sport. But guess what? He didn't show that kind of. Did that, but that really goes against him. You could show that that much dedication that you're 19 points shy of Wilt Chamberlain, um, Chamberlain's um, record of 100 points in one game. But when it comes to serving the Lord, there's no, there's nothing to show. All right. But some game that was created by some doctor in Canada, or wherever the hell where it was. You you've managed to now you've 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 shown more dedication to that than the heavenly Father that created the earth, all right. So man, with that man, I pray you edify.